Hello, my dear students in Prep 2. Let's continue Part 2 together in factorizing trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Today, I will explain with you example 1, 3x squared, negative 14x, negative 5. Now, try to, to solve this kind of factorization which include a coefficient in front of x squared. First of all, you have to open the two brackets at the traditional way. Open two brackets, then we will write the answer in the two brackets. Okay? Follow the arrow here up. We have to multiply 3 times 5 equals 15. And I said before, this kind of factorization is a little bit different of the first kind. We will factorize by start by multiplying 3 times 5 equals 15. I will take it in the side, 3 times 5, 15. That 15 has two factors, 1 and 15, 3 times 5. I will choose two factors of them only according to the sign here. The sign here is minus, so I will, I will choose the two factors which are their difference, 14. Their difference, 14. Their difference, 15 minus 1 equals 14. Yes, I will choose the first two factors here, 15 and 1. I will draw the two arrows here, the two, sorry, sorry, the two arcs here, bigger arc and the smaller arc. Bigger arc, take the first and the last. Smaller arc, take the middle arcs, numbers. Bigger arc, take, I write here, 1 and 15, add the factors of 15 from the side here. Okay. Why here negative 15 and 1? Positive. Because the last sign is negative, and I said before in the first part, if the sign, the last sign is negative, you have to put the signs, one of them, positive and the other negative. And the negative sign or positive sign, this is according to the middle. If the middle negative, the bigger will be negative. If the middle positive, the middle will be positive. Here in our problem, the middle is negative. So the bigger number is negative. And the other one is positive, of course. Here, get the factors of 3x squared, which is x by 3x. And get the factors of 5, which is 1 times 5. I need to put here one of the factors of 3x. Let's start with 3x, for example. If you put here 3x, you have to put a number in front of it here because of this arc means if a number by this here equals negative 15. Again, according to this arc, I need two numbers the first and the last, their product negative 15. So 3x by what equals negative 15? Huh? All of you said this, yeah? 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15. Yes, so here and here negative 5 and negative Time multiply 3x equals negative 15. Here we have to put in front of 3x the other factors of 3x, which is x. Put it here, x. And 5, this is the factors of 1 times 5, so the, the, the other factor is 1. It's okay? Easy. Next one, number 2. Number 2. 12a squared, negative a, negative 6. First step, follow the arrow. Take the first number by the last number. 12 times a, 12 times 6, 12 times 6, 72. Oh, we have a lot of factors for 72. 1 times 72, 2 times 36, 3 by 24, 4 by 18, 6 by 12, and 8 by 9. From all of these factors, I just need two factors. The difference between them is what? Is nothing? Of course not. We have that idea which said, if we don't have a coefficient in front of any sample, the sample here is 1. So I need to get two factors, the difference between them, 1. Okay, so I will, of course, I will have 8 and 9, their difference 9 minus 8 equals 1. Back to our two brackets. Get the factors of 12, 12a, 12 by 1, 2 by 6, 3 by 4. And get the factor of 6, this is a traditional way, 1 by 6, 2 by 3. Here I will make the large arc and the smaller arc. The large arc, I will write the bigger number and smaller number. Here the negative sign, it means negative sign, it means negative and positive or different sign. At the bigger, take the sign of the middle. Yeah, we have negative 9, take the sign of the middle, of course, and now it is positive. Starting from the factors here, I need two numbers in the first and last here, their product 9. Their product 9, here and here. So, from the factor of 12, I need to put one of them here and the other one here. From the factors of 12, which one can I multiply by it equals 9? Can I multiply by 2 to get 9? 
Can I multiply by 12 to get 9? Can I multiply by 3 to get 9? Yes, I can multiply 3 by 3 equals 9. So let's put here 3. And of course, because this is squared, it will be 3a. Here, 3a. 3a. So the other number must be 3 also because 3 by 3 equals 9. And of course, negative because 9 is negative number. Here we have 2 times 4a. Why 2? Because we select 3 from the factors of 6. So the remainder is 2. You have to drop it here. You have to drop it here. Okay? And from the factors of 12, you select 3. So the remainder is 4. You have to drop it here. If you need to check your steps, you can make the traditional way of multiplication as 3a by 4a is 12a squared. And 3a times negative 3 equals negative 9a. 2 by 4a, positive 8a. 2 by 4, 8, and the drop a. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. If you try to make them in the simplest form, you have to add these two terms. So the answer will be 12a squared, negative a, negative 6. Is this form in the first one here? Yeah, of course. So your problem is right. And your factorization now is perfect. One. As I'm at the example number three. In example number three, I have 6m power 6, 21m power 3, and 18 plus positive 18. First, I have common factor in the three terms, number three. I will divide the three terms by three. Divide them by three. Divide the three, it will be 2m power 6, negative. 7m power 3, because 21 divided 3 equals 7, plus 18 divided 3 equals 6. Get the factor of the first, get the factor of the last, as we learned it before. The factors of m power 6 is m power 3 by m power 3. Why we have to choose it? Because I need to divide them in the two brackets, m power 3 and m power 3. Okay? And remember, m power 3 by m power 3 equals m, 3 plus 3 equals m power 6. Here we have 2, drop 3 every time as we see here. Find the two numbers, follow the arrows, they brought the 2 by 6, 12. Get the factors of 12, 1 by 12, 2 by 6, 3 by 4. The factor or the product 12 and the sum of the two factors 7. The sum of the two factors would be 7. So from the factors 3 and 4, their sum is 7. Okay? Make the two bigger arcs. Uh, the sign here is positive. So you have to make two numbers like the sign of the middle. Sign of the middle is what is negative. So negative, negative. Negative, negative. Go the here. The sign is positive. Drop all of these numbers to M3. Open the two brackets. Okay, I need here two numbers, their product negative 4. So I will start by putting here 2m power 3, and here I will choose the factors of 6, I will choose 2 to make 2 by 2, 4. And of course, negative, negative. If you take 2, the remainder 3, you have to drop here 3, and you have to drop here m power 3. Finally, I hope you understand the lesson. And I hope to solve your homework. Your homework will be page 3 and page 4 in your math booklet. Thank you. Goodbye.